so consider uh, here next concept is uh, array within structures array within structures you can also use uh, an array inside the structure okay so let us suppose uh, I am considering uh, a sample structure of a student uh, where we want to store uh, marks obtained by the student in six different subjects uh, where you have to consider writing a array within the structure so the example will be like writing a student corresponding structure so this is a struct student okay inside this consider a role number which is of integer type okay and then uh, name of this student which is a string here next uh, consider uh, marks obtained by the student in uh, different subjects like consider there are six different subjects so marks of six so this is how you can actually declare a structure of a student which contains an array so that is why array within structures okay so now let us uh, implement a program related to it uh, where I will make use of uh, an array inside the structure. Okay. So let me uh, take a different members inside this structure. Also remove this code. Okay. Now consider marks obtained by student in different subjects like uh, marks of 6. Okay. And also sum of the marks. Okay. Int sum. Okay. And also consider uh, percentage of marks obtained by the student. Uh, so float percentage. Uh, okay now inside this main function i'll consider uh, an array of this structure called a student structure so struct student x of 20 okay also consider uh, loop variables uh, i and j okay so i is used to iterate here and j to iterate within this structure containing member like marks okay so first i will read the value of n representing the number of students okay so this is enter number of students okay so once you enter the number of students uh, using scanf statement uh, you have to store it inside a variable like n okay now using for loop uh, we can iterate okay and read also display so for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus okay now let us uh, print here so i'll prompt the user to enter some details like uh, roll number okay name of the student like this and after that you have to read uh, marks obtained by the student in six subjects six different subjects okay so let's do this uh, enter roll number and also the name of student okay so first thing is uh, 
a reading roll number which is of uh, percentage D okay so I'll use here So using scanf statement we can start reading this values right uh, percentage d can be used for roll number and percentage s can be used for uh, name of the student okay so this is going to be address of x of i dot roll number and also x of i dot name okay now once the name of the student and roll number of the student is taken you can ask the user to enter marks obtained in six different subjects okay enter marks obtained in six subjects okay so here first consider uh, displaying the name okay that student corresponding marks you want to enter right okay now using a uh, for loop here j equal to 0 j less than 6 j plus plus okay now using scanf statement we can read right scanf uh, percentage d okay address of x of i dot okay you need to read this marks so this is marks of j okay so this is how we can implement for loop in order to read roll number name of the student and also marks obtained in the six subjects so here i am using j loop to iterate for marks of six subjects you can see marks of j because already we have declared a marks as an integer array inside the structure called student okay so now we want to find the total marks obtained by the student okay and also how much uh, percentage uh, is obtained by the student so this you can calculate and also store a respective total marks in a variable called sum and percentage of marks obtained in a variable called pr okay so let us start uh, sum and percentage calculation okay so let us implement here uh, what will be the outer loop you can see okay so again it is going to be a for loop right okay to iterate from i equal to 0 to i less than n so because working with uh, each student corresponding marks okay so initially the student total marks i am taking as 0 okay but later we have to compute uh, by adding all the marks obtained in six different subject for one particular student so for this we require this loop right j equal to 0 j less than 6 j plus plus now using uh, x of i corresponding sum here so x of i dot sum is equal to x of i dot sum plus okay or you can write like this so marks obtained in each subject uh, this is going to be marks of j x of i dot marks of j okay now once you obtain our total marks uh, summation 
for all the six subjects we got uh, total marks into sum here then we need to find out or calculate this uh, percentage uh, obtained so x of i dot percentage so you can see which is a floating point type where you can actually type convert the x of i corresponding sum and divided by 6 okay so x of i dot sum and this is going to be divided with 6 okay now finally we need to display the total marks obtained by the student and also the percentage of marks obtained by the student so where we have already calculated with the help of this right okay sum of marks and also percentage of marks so let us suppose i want to display uh, directly these values like roll number i'll display okay And after the roll number, I'll display name of the student. And after the name, I'll display percentage obtained by the student. Okay. Now, using for loop, uh, we can iterate, right? For i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Okay. So, you can start uh, printing these details like roll number, name, and percentage. Uh, so consider here percentage uh, D for the roll number and uh, percentage uh, yes for the name and uh, percentage uh, F for the amount of percentage obtained by the student. Okay. So let's write each of this here uh, x of i dot roll number okay and uh, also x of i dot name okay and finally percentage x of i dot percentage okay we can display so let us uh, run this code and see the result. Enter number of students. Uh, for example, I'm taking details of two students. Uh, enter roll number and name of student one. Okay, roll number is one. Name of student is Alex. Okay. So marks in six, uh, total six subjects uh, obtained by Alex. Okay. So let us enter the marks obtained by Alex across these six subjects. Okay. So consider three different total six subjects, right? So corresponding marks are like this. And then enter roll number and name of the student too. Okay. So this is uh, two and then Bob I'm entering enter marks in six subjects of Bob okay so you have to enter uh, marks obtained by Bob in six subjects okay so consider 99 89 79 69 okay 81 95 now you can observe here uh, roll number name percentage we are printing First roll number is uh, 1, okay, and the name is Alex. Percentage of marks obtained by Alex is 83.66, okay. And uh, if you consider another student, Bob, he has got 85.33. So this is how we are calculating the percentage of marks obtained by each student after reading marks of each student across six different subjects okay and this is how it will work